And the other question I had was concerning the uh, additional the rate increases that you're recommending for water mm -hmm. this way. Mm -hmm. um, we've gone to well a couple of times on this one. Mm -hmm. um, we know that we deferred increases for a period of time, and unfortunately, we're in a position now with the issues that we've got with infrastructure that you know uh, we have to look to um, to uh, find money for. Them. I understand. 19 and a half cents a day, it still comes out to about $6 a month for an individual residence. And I don't know, obviously with tiering, it's going to be more for businesses. Businesses right. are going to pay a lot. This more is residential space. That is correct, but businesses will be paying a lot more for that, more than likely, because of the tiering of our usage. Mm -hmm. So my question is, what, what message are we going to be giving to the business community if we're continuing to, you know, go to the well and increase the rates? Uh, you know, from the standpoint of cost of doing business, some a lot of, a lot of the businesses in this community are already sitting on a razor's edge right now with regard to their profit and loss. So I, I just, I, I, it's, it's a communications issue more sure. than anything else. And how do we, how do we do that while at the same time paying for all the studies that we're looking to do? Right. You know, our city tends to spend a lot of money on studies, and I'm looking at this from this from an outsider's perspective. Mm -hmm. Okay, from a from a resident's perspective. They see, you know, $100,000 or $120,000 being spent on studies. Nothing happening with the studies once the studies take place. Again, I'm talking from, from the resident's perspective or the business owner's perspective, and at the same time, we're increasing water and wastewater rates. So I'm just, I'm really <coughs> sensitive to how, how this goes down. And so I'm, I'm, I'm mentioning that up front. It's a concern of mine that should be. I, I think it probably is a concern of other members of the council as well. But that's uh, that's where that's where I'm on that. And and one thing I am not arguing at all. I'm, this made me think of something. One thing that businesses can do that perhaps it's a good time to mention now. Our utilities people have worked with businesses to get them um, sales tax decreases for people that use our utilities in the in the making of their goods and services. And we have helped a few. Uh, do that so it's that's out there and I'm not saying that that offsets what you just said I'm just saying that reminds me for something to say that there is that available so if somebody were to come to you with that you could send them in here for us to help well that's 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 great that you mentioned that because yeah. that's a program that probably most uh, they probably don't you know we've helped that. several restaurants and you know anything that's used in the production of your end product is subject to a reduction and it has to have a study and we have to help with that that reduction it comes from the sales tax computer. Right. Steve, anything else? No, that's it for now. I, I, we're going to talk about salary. Um, Justin, um, no, no specific. I feel most of them have been answered. Um, I get what Steve's saying about the rate increases for water and wastewater. However, I feel like if we go down the path of not doing the increases, we're going to be in the same situation we, we are now, you know, next year, next year. And unfortunately, I think we're going to have to bite the bullet and do it to get us back on track. And it's, it's less than last year, and, and it's just least. less than previous years. One, one thing I may mention, it's unsolicited, <coughs> but there was an article in the Kansas City Star about this is not just Gardner. Mm -hmm. This is. Okay everywhere because aging infrastructure costs a lot of money and you may recall in Kansas City a few years ago the feds came in and said oh you will fix your sewer to the tune of billions with a B and we don't care if you can afford it so right. they're dealing with that right now I mean they, they don't care and so it's probably better to do small and incremental and work with this at least to start here. Tori you have anything else? No. Steve? Yeah I have a few questions. Um, it, just following up on Steve's point to the water and wastewater, how we have been put in a position where we're having to catch up. I know there's been analysis done of, of what that process is going to be to be caught up and, and projecting out what the rate increases may be in the future. Mm -hmm. Do we have anything like that that's been updated with this information? I know we 
that's been part of the budget presentations in the past and we're looking at a little bit more. If you promise not to hold me to it, I will tell you what I think, but I am not your utilities director and I do not have the results of any of your studies. Right. Well, there's nothing that we can hold anybody to. Right. So they're I always can, just projected. I can say that perhaps in the next two years they went away. Okay. But that is, again, <laughs> clarifying, I'm not your utilities director <laughs> and I don't have the pending results of any plant assessment or capacity assessment or anything else. That's just what I know okay. today. But the clear feedback from that I would take then is we actually have made the progress. You have up made that progress. We done over the previous five or six years. Yes, I would say that as a true statement. Okay. Um, you know, looking at the presentation as a whole, the next question I had actually was, uh, obviously we had a list of uh, possible expenditures and planned uh, initiatives and things. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to note, and I, I maybe I need the clarification myself. We had the stars to indicate, you know, primary or, or prioritize things. Mm -hmm. But how many of those pieces will actually be built into the budget for expenditures in 2015? The Aquatic Center. The Aquatic Center itself. So when we look and, at the and decorative the lighting studies. and some of the... No, the, the decorative lighting, that's all. Everything you saw everything was you in saw there. Built into the, budget. the west side, um, it depend. The only one I can say might not impact 2015 budget is maybe the west side park improvements because it depends on when we do them. Sure. The Aquatic Center, I'm going to be coming to you probably at the August 4th meeting after you approve the budget and ask you to let's just move on with a resolution for some kind of fun, you know, so we have right. to pass that resolution say we're going to do this project. It may be that meeting if I can get the numbers together in time or so okay. that'll be soon because that pretty much has to start when the pool closes. So those payments will start in 15. That brings me then, I, I guess I need more detail on that lighting project. That, that was the biggest ticket item that we saw outside of Westside Park in the Aquatic Center. I, okay, that is actually a cash thing. The electric fund buys street lighting poles. Okay. So it was just added into that. So because that's what they what, do what for what everywhere. What we accomplish through the, the lighting project itself? When we look at that price tag associated with it, what is the end goal and the end result that we'll see? Fairly limited. Yeah, um, I want to back up a little bit to kind of when you start to talk about kind of the the downtown project and the pieces we have coming together now from KDOT and what we're looking at to kind of create a more vibrant downtown. A, a major portion of that is a streetscape project. They typically range over a million dollars to do everything. They all include a lighting component because you have overhead wiring and what you're typically trying to do is remove that clutter with your overhead wiring and getting a different type of lighting. So that will include removal of the overhead wiring as well as replacing the lights that we have for more of a decorative lighting that we would have downtown. My follow-up to that would be, are we premature then in that expenditure when we're going to do downtown studies, look to work with the state, the DOT, look to work with the state, the DOT, wondering, I'm, I'm afraid that we commit to a project that might not actually lend itself to what the final results are going to be. So is it going to be money well spent now when those costs either could be part of different funding efforts because DOT is participation where we might actually be able to get their participation in some of that because it's an overall construction project. Are we just putting the cart before the horse when we have a grander plan for the downtown area? That's my that's my thought. And if we're going to commit those dollars, we can, and, you know, I always turn back this side of it, <laughs> the aging infrastructure itself, the, the lights themselves still work. I don't see the issue with it. I know it lends itself to what we want to have as the inviting downtown area, but that $260,000 isn't going to fix the road systems that we chatted on that are over right. in some of the residential areas that have an everyday impact for our residents. So that, that's why I look at that one okay. specifically and even look at some of the studies and say, you know, these are grand plans, but does that work? Is that something that's going to be part of a greater plan that this money's not the time to spend it when we can designate those dollars? Do things that are on the CIP list and the CIP score. Yeah, that's I, my question here. So that that's the one thing I look at and say, I don't want to fund that, but I'm not afraid to use that money where it's better used. I don't think right now lighting. I, it, <coughs> uh, it, it's the old that I don't know. The horrible comparison to it is, if I have a car that needs a paint job but the engine doesn't work, I don't paint it first. And right now the lights work, but we've got a lot of pieces of the car that really don't. When we look at the roads, and mm -hmm. don't have friends. Probably, I, I would imagine if I went to the doctor, he's got a light board that has them listed, and he's just ready to check them off. So if we could use those funds to help there, it, I think that impact is greater. Yeah, return on investment. What's source the, of funds. Yeah. I think you want to talk about source of funds. Well, 
that, that all comes that, into play. That's Absolutely, how you fund those sure. things and what impact two hundred fifty thousand sure. dollars can make. So, but so let's remind. So remember that this is the maximum expenditures. Right. So if we don't use it, you can use it for something else in electric, or you would have to decide that because you can transfer to other 